Having covered what's included with the EB4 10.2 kit and the tools required to get the kit built into a rolling chassis, it's time to get started with the first kit bag, the center differential. Before we get stuck into kit bag A, note that we will also need our bag of fluids and grease. In particular, we'll need the 30,000 CST oil along with black grease, and the rest can be placed to one side for later in the build. Ok, so now we're ready for the contents of bag A, and we'll start with the main diff cup, where we'll apply a little bit of grease to the inside recess where the o-ring will eventually sit. No need to go crazy here, just a little since it'll help to create a tighter seal. Next, grab an out drive and apply some grease around the groove on its neck before sliding it through the bottom of the diff cup. With one of the two supplied o-rings greased, place into the neck of the out drive and push down to the bottom of the diff cup, which we pre-greased a moment ago using your needle, nose pliers or another blunt object to push it right down. Now we can lay one of the two differential shims down on top. I found the Techno Turnbuckle wrench useful for pushing everything down into place here before inserting one of the two outdrive pins into the hole in the neck of the outdrive. Again, you'll need some needle nose pliers here to help. It can be a little fidgety, but it does fit quite nicely. The pin not only keeps the outdrive and the o-ring in position, it also fits into the groove on the underside of the larger internal gear. Likewise, the gear keeps the pin in place too, so in effect helping each other. Personally, I like to get a few drops of oil into the empty cup here, just enough to cover where the gear will sit, before dropping the gear into place and give the outdrive a turn to verify the gear is nicely flush in place. With that done, I like to fill the cup with a little more oil, enough for the first gear to be almost covered and let it rest for a moment while we move on to the next step. The Techno wheel wrench, although not required for this build in particular, acts as a great holder in the meantime. So now we're ready for our gear set, with a differential cross pin in hand, proceed to feed each of the four smaller gears onto each end, with the teeth facing inwards, making sure they all turn freely, before dropping into the previously prepared differential cup, lining up with the grooves in the actual cup, and the outer gears will fall into place and mesh with the bottom gear. At this stage, all gears should be meshed nicely with the bottom. Again, give the outdrive a little turn, being very gentle as there's nothing holding the gear set securely down at this stage, and all gears should turn nice and smoothly. We can now top off with more oil, trying to get it in all the tiny gaps, until all gears are just about covered, around 1mm from the top, leaving just enough space for the final gear to rest on top. We can place the cup to the side for the moment now for the oil to settle and we turn our attention to preparing the spur gear. Just as we did with the diff cup, we begin by inserting some grease into the o-ring notch of the spur gear, as well as around the notch within the neck of the remaining outdrive. Next, the outdrive goes through the spur gear, wiping any excess grease as we go and using it to grease the o-ring, which now gets placed around the outdrive and into position by the spur gear after which we place the final shim into position on top and push through the remaining outdrive pin to keep everything in place. All we have left now is the small gasket seal which we need to coat with grease on both sides before placing into position around the top of the diff cup. Now we proceed to seal the differential, although we need to be careful not to only line up the screw holes without moving the gasket from its position at all, but also to ensure the outdrive pin is seated within the top gear. I find the easiest way to do this is to line up the pin with the gear and then slowly lower onto the diff cup. Holding spur and cup firmly together, rotate the outdrive to ensure everything has meshed together nicely and pins are in place, before making sure the gasket and all screw holes are nicely lined up. Now we can insert the four 10mm flathead screws and, a little at a time with each opposing screw, tighten into place, taking care not to over tighten, just enough so that they're snug. Over tightening will not only cause the internal gears to bind up, considering the spur gear is plastic, you don't want to squash one side of the spur and deform it slightly in comparison to the other. And that's it, first bag complete. Center differential built with the precision and higher quality we've come to expect from Techno. The differential turns super smooth. Place it to one side for now and I'll see you in the next part in the series where we move on to bag B.